Information and Communications Technology, ICT, is crucial to providing equal opportunities for women around the globe. But it remains an area where women commonly experience discrimination and exclusion. From access to digital jobs to safety online, a lot remains to be done in order to achieve a level playing field. According to the World Economic Forum Gender Gap Report, women represent around 26% of the STEM workforce in developed countries, with a far lower number for developing countries, with men outnumbering women in most ICT and STEM fields in general. We believe that a technology innovation can be led by women, and a technology in its end can empower women. How is female employees have been playing a unique role? Many of them have distinguished themselves and become outstanding leaders. In the digital era, the most important measure to bridge the digital gender gap is through education. Whether it is college education or social training, we need to give women more opportunities to participate in the digital profession. It is against this backdrop that the Huawei Women in Technology Initiative was founded. In Ghana, the Huawei Women in Technology program has seen over 40,000 women benefit from digital skill training through various activities undertaken in partnership with key stakeholders and government agencies. They benefited from courses in the areas of basic ICT skills, internet safety ICT skill training, fintech workshops, cybersecurity, and AI. I'm a strong advocate for getting more ladies to take up roles or careers in ICT. I believe that the future of technology is female, and the future holds much exciting prospects for women in tech. So as a company, Huawei shares similar values and disperses our Huawei Women in Technology Global Initiative, which is in Ghana. We launched last year. Through this initiative, we have been able to touch the lives of many young girls, especially through our collaboration with the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization, Girls in ICT Initiative. I came here to get the basics of programming because I have a project that I want to work on. I have no basics in programming languages, so I see this as a great opportunity to get all the information I need to proceed with the project. My expectations as a participant in this training is to be able to acquire adequate knowledge, which will be able to provide some solutions in the agricultural sector. It's a seed that we're sowing in your life, knowing that that seed will generate and grow and become a big tree under which others would also find shade and fruit and nature. Through collaborations with the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization's Girls in ICT program in Ghana, over 40,000 women and girls across the country have benefited from training programs and workshops on cybersecurity and artificial intelligence across the country. 20,000 SHS girls were trained in the Ashanti region. At the central region, 8,000 students were trained across four SHS, while 12,000 students were trained at nine SHS in the eastern region. The environment we are in now, everything is integrated into ICT, so it's very important for students and everyone else to get and information or to be educated on how to be safe using the internet and software around the world. Cyber security basically has to do with protecting yourself and your data on the internet. Having acquired this knowledge, I see myself protecting myself and even those around me from being frauded whatsoever by people on the internet. Training on cyber security is giving all students general insights on how to manage themselves when they are on the internet. Initially I wasn't interested because um, I, I've always felt that ICT is a guy subject, not a female subject. But today my um, intentions about it has changed a lot. And that is not for males only, but females are also in the sector. This was um, a very nice experience and then we thank them all for visiting our school. 
Huawei also partnered with the office of Her Excellency Rebecca Akufuado, the First Lady of Ghana, through her Rebecca Foundation, to offer fintech and basic ICT workshops to 600 JHS students in coding and over 150 traders women in financial technology fintech. 200 students and 50 traders at Damongo in the northern region. 200 students and 50 traders trained at Mpoho in the western region and 200 students and 50 traders trained at Samankesi in the eastern region. After we being introduced to this, we can market our product on something like the social media. So it's health marketing being easier. Today, it has given me a broad view on how the fraudsters can use the internet to access my account without my knowledge and how to like cope with them when they, they do their calling and stuff. This program was in collaboration with the first lady, Rebecca Kufuado. So we give thanks to her for introducing this to we the ladies because we knew it was for only the guys, but we have been introduced to this. A collaboration with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration and the Ga Central Municipal Assembly also saw the over 1,100 women and girls from the Ga Central Municipality benefit from the program. 500 JHS girls training in basic coding, 500 SHS girls trained in basic ICT skill and internet safety while 120 women in fintech and Chinese cultural experience. I learned that in IT there are different jobs. You can be a programmer, a network administrator. I've learned how to use the Scratch app to develop instructions to program the computer. When we are doing our businesses, it's somehow difficult for us as women, but they have really, really helped us to learn for it to be simple for us as traders. This partnership program with Huawei which is Huawei Seeds for the Future Women in Tech, is in the right direction. And I wish to commend Huawei for focusing on the future of women in technology. Huawei also dedicated the 2021 edition of the Seeds for the Future program to the Women in Tech initiative with the first all-girls edition of the program in the region. This year, some female students from across all universities the country had the opportunity to be introduced to our latest trends in technology and ICT. They've had the opportunity to dialogue with experts in the industry and learn from the very best to build on their knowledge and skills in ICT. Huawei has always been an organization that provides equal opportunities for all and it is against this backdrop that going into this year's seats for the future we decided to dedicate it entirely to women in STEM. We are extremely proud of our young women for affirming that giving the opportunity and the right exposure, the requisite tools and platform, they can innovate within the sphere of technology and ICT. The global scene is fast changing and digital technologies are leading the world into uncharted territories, bringing advancement to all aspects of our lives. And the Huawei Women in Tech Initiative continues to ensure that women play a vital role in this. When I first heard of Seeds of the Future, I thought it was like the many training programs out there. But then I joined in by date, so I realized I'd had this big opportunity because through Seeds of the Future, we're not only taught things about technology, we were taken to the virtual world of China. We were given mentors. They mentored us and taught us a whole lot. I already had a fair idea of AI. So I was not really enthusiastic about the training session. But then I got to learn more about AI and I realized that what I already knew was just a tip of the iceberg. I got to learn more about deep learning, machine learning, strong and weak AI and its implications and its benefits to the society and the world at large. Partaking in this program has taught me a lot from 5G to AI to cloud computing concepts which are all emerging trends in today's world. Thank you Huawei for such an initiative. I would commend Huawei for all their contributions towards the development of ICT in Ghana. As a strategic ICT partner of government, we are happy to see you go beyond commercial activities 
to nurture ICT talents in Ghana. Your Seeds for the Future initiative, Digital Ghana Workshops for Public Sector Workers, your ICT Academy Program and partnership with Girls in ICT this year are all steps in the right direction. I therefore urge you to undertake more of such worthy courses to accompany Ghana in our digital transformation drive. The Huawei Women in Tech program continues to impact the lives of thousands of women to bridge the gender gap in ICTs in Ghana and the world at large. Huawei will continue to empower women and prepare them to lead their digitalization drive as together we continue to work towards achieving a fully connected, intelligent world. Huawei stands ready to work even closer with the Ghanaian government and educational institutions to impact more lives through ICT for a fully connected world. ICT is a key enabler for accelerating economic development and the need to develop the requisite skills cannot be underscored. I would thank Huawei for introducing us to this program. I would like to say thank you to Huawei. I would like to thank Huawei. I would like to thank Huawei. I would like to thank Huawei. I'm very, very grateful to Huawei. I am so happy and then I thank Huawei and all the supporters and the team. Thank you very much, Huawei. Shishi.